All right, I got two cribbage boards to make. Uh, one's gonna be bright orange, the other one's gonna be like a yellow citrus amber type color. Uh, I'm gonna try to get both boards out of this piece of apple wood right here. And what I'm gonna do is measure them out to the size I need lengthwise. Uh, one of my molds is 15 and 3 eighths and the other mold is 15 and 5 eighths. Uh, so I'll have to uh, measure twice, cut once, or measure four times, cut twice however you want to look at it. Uh, we'll try to cut it right down the middle and then we'll take this uh, the bark off of the apple wood. Um, that way there's no um, moisture trapped in there. We'll see if we can get it off. I hope I can get it off. Anyway, that's the goal. Let's do it. Alright, now that I got the cutting out of the way, uh, I got this piece of wood. I'm not quite sure what this is. Could be maple, could be, I don't know, it's not birch, and uh, it's not uh, box elder. Uh, I got it from my buddy RK Designs. Ryan uh, does a lot of woodworking and I get his scraps. So that's what I get here. I think what I'm going to do when I make this board is I'll put the board down like this. This will be the top. This will be the bottom right here. Uh, otherwise, I don't know how interesting the board would be with just this much showing through the resin. Uh, but I think this will. And then I think I'll fill this in with uh, the same color resin I make the board. Um, this spot too. I don't know if you can tell that it's not there too. Um, this is apple wood though. Uh, and I cut this down. I think that's going to make a fun board. Um, this will be the top, I believe, because then you get that branch right there. Um, otherwise, if you put it in this way, you won't see the branch really to be at the bottom of the resin. And I think I wanna accent that piece, but I gotta take the bark off. So let's do that. Let's go to work. all off for the most part that's gonna be too tricky I probably won't try to do that because I don't want to break that off let's go pour some resin okay I'm inside now uh, about to mix up some resin I use a three to one deep casting from Rocka Inc yeah uh, they're in Florida so one of these we're gonna put uh, uh, Ranger alcohol ink. This is the citrus and Rolio mica powder, which I got on Amazon. This is Tiger Orange. Comes with a cool spoon here. All right, let's uh, mix it up. Put that one off to the side, and now we'll mix this one. Okay, that's good. Now let's put some mica powder in. I haven't used this one yet. I'm kind of curious to see how it turns out. citrus one first. Uh, now I've got this paint bottle on top uh, just to weigh it down. Uh, so otherwise the wood would float. Okay, 
Here comes the orange. All right, now I'm just gonna top them off a little bit and then uh, we'll catch you on the sanding. All right, I'm about to uh, sand these boards now. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the sanding process because that's just boring. Uh, but each board is gonna go through the grids. I start with uh, 60, 80, 180, 220, 320, 400, and that's where I stop. Uh, and then I'll put a top layer of resin to bring back the shine and uh, that's where I will uh, come back so you'll you won't see the sanding but it will happen and I will talk to you afterwards. Ever needed proof that resin moves while it cures? Look at all those waves and movements and clouds. Exothermic reactions. All right, we are done finally in my shed, by the way, still haven't insulated. Anyway, yellow board all the way done. Check that out. Oh man, I love that. Applewood with uh, citrus or citron um, <laughs> well, coloring, ink, alcohol ink in the resin. Now I got the orange one done too. I'm gonna throw up some pictures. And the reason why I don't have it here is because I already sold it and it's gone. So uh, I drilled the holes, didn't record any of that, um, but you saw how I did some of the, the holes on this one. So you didn't need to see me doing both boards, but that's the deal. I've got uh, other things in the uh, works right now. Uh, I got another board coming up uh, that uh, will be in a different video. That's gonna be a really cool board. Stick around for that. So this one's available if you want it. If not, no big deal. Let me know, though. Thanks for watching. Mike's Paint Studio.